What's going on? Mr. Allen here. We're going to find the area of this triangle. So I've got a right triangle with two congruent legs there. So it's an isosceles right triangle. I have the hypotenuse as 36 feet. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to jot down my area of a triangle formula, which if I do recall correctly here, it is one half base times height. Yes, indeed. Okay. So in any event, I'm going to need to use that formula to figure out the area of this triangle. But I need a base and a height. Now, I have an isosceles right triangle. My two legs are congruent. That would mean that my two base angles here, those two angles need to be congruent. And if 90 degrees is already accounted for, these two need to be congruent and add up to 90. That means they're both going to be 45. I take 90 divided by 2 because that's what's left in the triangle. And I get 45 and 45. So I can use my 45, 45, 90 triangle properties to find out my legs. If I divide this, divide it by root 2, 36 divided by root 2, rationalize it, because rationalizing, you have to do it for whatever reason. Okay, I still don't know. It would be 36 root 2 divided by 2. So I'm going to have 18 square root 2. And if that leg is 18 root 2, then this one would also be 18 root 2. All right. Are those two perpendicular to each other? Yes. So they can be my base and my height. Doesn't matter which one's which. But I'm going to go ahead and say that area of this triangle is equal to 1 half. My base is going to be 18 root 2. My height is gonna be 18 root two, and I'm gonna multiply them. So let's pump the brakes here for just a sec. I could do one half, um, 18 times 18, that's 324 if I'm not mistaken, and then root two times root two, that's just gonna be two. If I've got that all separate, boom, those cancel out, and I'm just left with 324 feet squared. So again, working on some mental math there, right? If you remember your perfect squares, 18 squared, 19 squared, 20 squared, Awesome. If not, you can always use a calculator, no big deal, but mental math, yo. All right. There is another way to do this particular problem. I'm sure you're wondering what it is. I will show you because I'm just a generous person. So I'm still going to need to use my area of a triangle formula as one half base times height, but now I'm going to use, now I'm going to use the 36 as either my base or my height. And now, actually, I'm going to use it as my base, and I'm going to find the height to that, so it needs to be perpendicular to that. I need to find that green length right there. Well, that green altitude, that height of this triangle when we're using 36 as my base, that height is going to split it into 18 and 18. Now, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle that we have right here with 18 being one of my legs of that 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that makes it pretty easy to say that, hey, this is just 18 right here. All right. So now what I have is one half area of a triangle is one half. My base, which we said is 36 in this case, multiplied by my height, which is 18. So one half of 36 is going to be 18. And as we already know from the previous problem, 18 times 18 is 324 feet squared. So either way you slice it here, we're still using our 45, 45, 90 triangles. We're just using them in a different way. I dropped an altitude, kind of dropped an altitude, right? Going up there as my height, I split that base up, use the 45, 45, 90 triangle there. Either way is awesome and America, Freedom, Rock and Roll, Costco, Riverdog, Jenny on the Gram, Yo-Ro, deuces, you guys.